GZ Doom is considered the top dog of Doom Source ports, boasting the highest graphical and modding capabilities. Although GZ Doom has a lot of obscure features that only the most tech literate would care about, when it comes to modding, there's no shortage of really cool and neat stuff that can overall enhance the game's quality of life. So let's talk about something you might not expect to see in a Doom mod. Cutscenes. Quite a few mods will sometimes implement cutscenes into the gameplay. It's as simple as scripting a camera to look at this thing, make this text appear, move the camera there, and so on. But these are all done in-game. They require copious amounts of scripting and sometimes entire assets and environments just for one scene. But what if I told you it's possible to make GZ Doom play full motion video? Here's an example of what that would look like. Shit it in my pants. Yes. I shit it in my pants. I am for real. In the 4.8 update, GZ Doom added the ability to play video files at certain points in the game. These being before the level starts, after the level ends, starting an episode, when the player dies during a certain cluster, and as soon as the game is booted up. There's a few different video formats you can use. Those being... Uh, okay, we're gonna use IVF. There's a couple of tools we're gonna need to get first. You wanna get the latest version of FFmpeg. This is what you'll use to convert the MP4 into an IVF. You might also need some kind of video editing software. Preferably one that lets you set the FPS of the video. At least from what I've seen, the playback only seems to work properly if it's at 25 FPS. Otherwise the speed of the video will be all scoffed and won't sync up with the audio. Speaking of which, because IVS can only contain video, the audio has to be in a separate file. Now let's grab the video of our choosing and move it into the FMPEG directory. We also need to create a batch file in the directory and give it this line of code right here, so we can actually perform the conversion. Now open up Slade, or whichever WOD editing program you use. Please note that this will not work with a regular WOD file, so we're using a PK3 instead. And if things are going according to plan, then look at that, your reward for beating the level is a cool dancing mouse. Video cutscenes in classic Doom is such an out of left field idea. And I don't really see it being used a whole lot. But you have to admit, it's also pretty interesting. I made this tutorial because I'm very curious how other people would use this feature in their mods. I also hope that they do so in a safe, responsible way with no nefarious intent whatsoever. That just about wraps it up for this tutorial. Uh, happy modding and don't eat things that have been on the floor. <laughs>